In this video, we are going to discuss the express mode inside of the assembly environment for Autodesk Inventor. Now, the express mode is a way to get inside of an assembly very quickly. So it doesn't load up all the different commands you need to utilize inside of the assembly environment normally. It just gets you in there quick with limited functionality, but with cached graphics so that things load up faster. Now, it does that through the usage of making the assembly's IAM file a little bit larger, so it doesn't have to go out and load components from all over the place. It loads it faster just from the one file. The default criteria for going into express mode automatically is controlled by your application options. The default setting states that if I have 500 unique components, I will launch into express mode. In this design, the Vimec 630 IAM from our working files directory, I have 965 instances and 2,037 total occurrences of components in this design. So I have met that criteria and this has launched me into express mode. I can identify that I'm in express mode because certain things don't work anymore. So for instance, I can't use certain visual styles like realistic or monochromatic because that utilizes ray tracing. I have other commands which are not available as well. So if I go to my ribbon at the top of the screen and click on design, you can see all my design accelerators have been grayed out. I can't do any of that work. If I click on simplify, those commands are still available. If I click on assemble, those commands are still available. And they actually added more utilized commands to the express mode inside of Inventor 2015. If you're using Inventor 2014, you have more limited control over what commands you can utilize. Now, how do I get into a fully loaded assembly so I could utilize my other utilities? Well, I can go up here and click on Load Full that's on the Express panel of the Assemble tab. What this will do is continue loading all of my components from memory into this environment so I can then start working more effectively with what I really want to do. So there's my fully loaded assembly. And if I go up to my design tab, I can see my design accelerators are now available. If I would like to go back to the express mode, I could go to my productivity panel. And on this fly out here, I can choose load express. Now, if I choose load express, what will happen is it's going to close the inventor assembly down and reopen it back into express mode things work a little bit faster then. So be careful before you do this. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. You can see it's going through and regenerating graphics. It's adding a little bit more size to the IAM to cache the graphics, and then it's gonna reopen it back up for me. Now, how do we control the different settings that enable or disable the express mode? If I go up to my application options on the assembly tab at the very bottom, I can enable or disable express mode permanently with that check mark. If it is enabled, I can then control the amount of total unique files. Currently it's set to 500. I can make that 1000 if I wanted to, and then this Vimec would not open into express mode the next time I opened it. If you turn off the express mode workflows with that check mark as well, the next time you open your assembly, it will try to shrink itself back down to a more workable IAM file size. Now, your IAMs generally aren't that big anyway, but when you use express mode, they could get much, much larger. So just be aware of that. So in conclusion here, we looked at the express mode for Inventor's assembly environment and how to get in here quickly, do our basic functions, and then get back out of express mode if we need to do more advanced functions as well. 